Hey, what's up guys? Old7. The question I'm going to answer today is, how the hell do I play with one arm and how is my Naga set up differently from moving from my old Razor Copperhead over to the, the uh, number pad, which is how I used to play. And I was a terrible player with going that way because all of my defenses, everything you see in the bottom right and the tidy plates, this is how my number, my number pad was set up. I mean, it's exactly how it was set up. So I always have to switch over to my number pad off my hand, off the mouse to cast skills, and it was obviously very delayed. It wasn't smooth. So since I got this Naga, courtesy of Swifty, that I'll show you how it's set up and what skills I'm missing and why I have it set up this way. I'll we'll start off. Here's my scroll up, middle button, scroll down, number one, two, three, and so on. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. But they are set up down here. You can see all of my skills, how they're set up. Now I'll explain this right here after I'm done explaining why I have everything here and which macros I'm using. Scroll up is Frost Strike to dump my runic power, obviously. Middle button's Unholy Blight. Um, my Often when I'm scrolling up or scrolling down, I'll accidentally hit that button, but it benefits me because it keeps Unholy Blight up constantly. Um, the button is often pushed accidentally, so I don't want to use any of my runes um, on accident, I want to keep uh, my rune management tight. Uh, scroll down is Howling Blast. And this is my typical uh, RBG setup right here because I have found in RBGs uh, that your stereotype DK, mindless Howling Blast, spamming Frost Strikes, and all kinds of other things puts dumps the most damage. Um, also in Dual Wield, because I never use Obliterate uh, in uh, RBGs. And the reason why I dual weld is for the for the massive amount of attack speed when I'm circle strafing, and just the, just the overall damage output. And I'll show you in a little while of the of dual weld. I've actually sat down in front of a, a dummy and just simply auto attacked um, with dual weld and with uh, two handed. And the dual weld is putting out an extra 10 10k DPS by just sitting there. Um, I have everything dumped into mastery, of course, when I duel or do arenas, I'll switch over to uh, two-handed, and instead of dumping everything mastery, I'll do haste and crit, and critical strike and whatnot. But anyway, back to the, the Naga setup, I'm using, uh, this is tell me when, so each time I use a skill, it blacks out, and when it pops back up, I know that I can use these skills. Now, and I'll uh, explain this. This tells me how many rune taps or blood taps that I do have available, and the reason why I use blood tap is because I have it macroed uh, to my necrotic strikes. As you can see, there's a macro down there. I also have it macroed to um, howling blast, and the reason why that is when I'm out of runes, um, it'll use those rune taps for any of the skills that I have it macroed to, and which is very beneficial to me because I always have runes up and if I need runes I can dump my runic powder using frost strike or I can dump it using um, you know um, what the heck is that skill I can't even think of it right now uh, there we go yeah, yeah death coil that way I always have some kind of rune tap up and then I use Yuri's rune display here so I'm always keeping an eye on my runes and so which one I have um, I like using plague strike because um, Obliterate's not there, so I have to dump those un those unholy runes. And I don't have room, as you can see on my Naga, for um, Death and Decay. So there's no reason for me to use Death and Decay uh, to use up these un unholy runes. So this is my setup. I also have I can keep an eye on my on my cooldowns on my anti magic shell. You push your 45 seconds when my mind freeze is used and runic a power weapon when I really want to do my burst. Um, I go ahead and draw my Pillar of Frost, my one-shot macro, and dump all my runes, dump all my uh, runic power, and then hit right to runic and power weapon, which you, I'm usually putting out about a million damage in, I want to say 15 to 20 seconds, which I never stand on target in more than 15 seconds, uh, unless I'm just some random battleground, then I'll sit on one for a while. I'll usually call a target and switch over targets, so I'm not sitting on one target very long, again, like I said, unless I am in uh, a regular BG. Now my, on the Naga, on the left, top left mouse button, there's two more little buttons there. The top little button is to strafe, uh, and I'll show you on this right here. I'm pushing the top button now, and I'm strafing right. So whenever you see me playing, I'm always circle strafing. Let me hop off of this guy. So I'm always circle strafing to the right. 
I can never circle straight, circle straight left. I can come up right here and just check out how far away from from the target. Now the button, but underneath that is for my trinkets. It'll first use desecrate ground. I love desecrate ground. Um, and RBGs, I use Gorfine, So anything else other than RBGs, I'm going with desecrate ground. So my first, uh, I have it cast sequenced, where the first one is desecrate. I'll sit in that for quite some time because you know, of course, you can't lose movement when you're on top of that desecrate ground. And then my trinket is right afterwards. And so I have those two trinkets, and then uh, my Lichborn heals. Of course, I'm going to cast the Lichborn whenever I'm feared or when I need to heal. And I have the uh, Lichborn heal macro to cast Death Quill on myself. I just push the button numerous times, and uh, I'll heal myself up. And the same thing goes for my. My other heals for my death pack. It's I have health stone macro with death pack. Uh, there's another skill in there that I have for healing. Uh, for RBGs, I'll have like master healing potion. That's all that's um, set up in the macro. And then my burst. This is a pretty cool little burst. I'm gonna go over here to see this burst. All right, there you go. Outbreak Horn of Winter. Horn of Winter gives me an extra bit of runic power, which is the only reason why I use that. And then I have my trinket, right? Let me see here. There it is right there. So you can see how I'm using my trinket and then Pillar of Frost stacks on top of that and that's my pretty much your one shot macro. Um, the only reason why I still have Outbreak in there is when I do use Obliterate, all my dots are up and I can just dump th three Obliterates, Runic and Power Weapon, dump three more Obliterates and it does a sick amount of damage. So that is my one shot burst. And my defense, this is an interesting way to set up. I don't have enough buttons to use Icebound Fortitude or and both uh, Anti-Magic Shell. So Anti-Magic Shell AMS is button 8 and I can pop that right away. If I have the Runing Power then um, Icebound Fortitude is going to pop. It's a necessary evil to have both skills up or when I'm stunned and I don't have AMS up it will just hit um, Icebound so I can get out of the stun or when I'm getting um, burst down I can switch over to Blood Presence which is in my is uh, macro in my heals. So I want, when I get burst down, I'm going to go ahead and heal up using uh, Death Pact. It'll automatically switch to um, blood or to a blood presence, and I'll show that. There you go, right there, blood presence. And then when I have it macro in, I can actually push it again and switch back to frost right away. Um, if I'm if I'm getting burst down, I won't do that. But if I'm just doing a quick heal and I'm not getting targeted, I'll push it again, get back into frost presence, and continue doing damage. And so that's why I can switch back and forth from blood to frost and so forth. Uh, let's see what else do we got. That's pretty much the way I have it set up. Only reason why I have this up here is to kind of maintain my cooldowns when I can use what. And here's my runes. And I often, because I was, you know, of course, being in the Marine Corps, we're always taught to keep your eye on top of the on your target. So if I'm fighting this guy here. I'm going to position him in such a way where I can keep my runes close enough to see which charge and which not. So as I'm strafing this guy right here, and I, I'm usually keeping an eye on these while I'm strafing. That way I know exactly what to cast and when to cast them. And I'll show you guys in a quick, or, in a quick um, random battleground. But there's the setup. Now you notice the skills that I'm missing are Death Strike, which heals me up. There is a Re Soul Reaper. Love that skill for the for a clean kill. Um, there is let's see we check out what other things I'm missing here. Obviously there's uh, obliterates missing pestilence. I can't use that. You know, Path of frost is down here. Um, pretty insignificant. There's no reason to macro it. Um, strangulates is sitting in there. And that's I'm trying to think what else I don't have used. Yeah, it's just, it's pretty much just death strike that I can't. Okay, here we go. Death strike, blood boil. I can't use. I cannot use death and decay or dark sacralacum. Uncontrol undead. These are the skills that I can't use. Everything else I use is macroed. Um, but sometimes, you know, you're gonna pop something else you don't want to, and that's just how it goes with using one arm to play. But there's pretty much how everything is set up. Now I don't run with this showing. So I'm going to take that off when I go into Battlegrounds. Um, that's just, just so you can see what my, my Naga is set up like.